our turf mud friend Chris Kaiser is back with some expert tips on lawn equipment readiness for this summer season. Good morning. Good morning. Good to be with you. It's good to be with you, and it's just that time, my friend. Lawnmowers are coming out. Weed eaters are coming out. Uh, what should we have done at the end of the season to make sure this day would be a lot easier? You've got to run them dry. So if you've got gasoline equipment, you need to burn the fuel out of it. That's the principal problem folks have. Nowadays, fuel has ethanol in it. It's an alcohol, absorbs water, phase separates. So the key is to run them dry and always use fresh fuel. Don't let fuel sit around more than 30 days, especially in the summer. If it's humid, uh, it will absorb water. Um, so that's key. And if you have batteries, make sure they're charged. Make sure you've stored them properly over the season, just like your engine equipment. Try to store it dry. But for powered equipment, engine equipment, fuel is key. All right. So, you know, we've, if we've done all of that, you know, if you don't use this stuff, but once, you know, once or twice a year or just for the summer season, I would think that maybe re-educating yourself on your equipment would be, would be a good idea. Absolutely. And it, it may sound funny, but read your owner's manual. People think, oh, I've, I've got a mower, I've got a string trimmer, I've got a blower, I've got a snow thrower. I know how to use it. The machines are different, and the manufacturer guidance may be different, even on fueling. Um, so familiarize yourself with your, your particular piece of equipment and what its needs are, its fuel needs, its battery needs, its electricity needs. And again, what's key is when you store them, store them dry, store them clean, store them without fuel, store your batteries. Seasonal, these, these things are designed for it. Recreational use, emergency use, seasonal use. So the machines are designed for it. So if you take care of them, they'll take care of you. Well, and last a long time. Now, we've talked about fuel. Let's talk about it a little bit more. How do you know what kind of fuel each, each uh, piece of machinery requires? Everything's designed to run on E10 or less. Now, that's what you find at a, most every gas station. Some gas stations, particularly in the Midwest, in your, your, na your neighborhood, um, you may have higher content ethanol fuels available for you to choose. They even have blender pumps where you can dial up the level of ethanol um, in your fuel. And right now that may drop the price, but remember there's less energy in alcohol. So the, the, the pricing is about equal, but don't put anything more than E10, 10% ethanol in your fuel. All the equipment's designed to run on that, built, warranted to run on that fuel. And you'll find it at every gas station. Well, Chris, uh, how, do we, how do we store it or should we even store it? You should not. Again, you should, you should run it dry, run your machine dry, and don't put fuel that has stayed in the garage over the season into the machine. Buy fresh fuel, and if you've left fuel in it, drain it. Um, fuel is key. You don't want to pull old fuel, stale fuel, into the engine, right? You don't want to bring water into the engine. So that's what's key. Just go buy new fuel, and, and remember, try to use the amount of fuel you'll think you'll need. Like I have a snow thrower, it may snow just once a year. And so I want to put it, just the amount of fuel in it I think I'll run so that I don't have a big tank to burn out at the end of the year. Plan for that. All right, let's talk batteries for a minute. We just have a few seconds left. How do we store batteries? Dry, cool place. Don't put them in the refrigerator. Don't put them in the freezer. And don't store them with metal objects, oh. paper clips, nails, etc. Anything that could bring those batteries to charge together. So dry, cool place to store the battery. Thank you, Chris. Always great to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. And we'll be back with more Local Lifestyles right after this. Please stay with us.